Hi, I'm Shelly Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fairly simple trench coat which should fit most fashion dolls like regular and made-to-move Barbies, tall Barbies, and a number of other dolls in this size range. Before we begin, please go to my website, ShellyWood.com, to download this free PDF sewing pattern for pajamas, angel wings, and a bathrobe. Use the bathrobe pattern to cut out these three pieces from solid cotton fabric in any color. And you'll need some quarter inch double fold bias tape. Now I actually made my own contrasting color of bias tape using this little tool called a bias tape maker. And you can see how simple it is to use one of these little tools. But you don't have to do that, of course. Just buy some bias tape at your fabric store. However, if you're interested in this tool, I've included a link to one of these in the description below this video on YouTube. Okay, enough chit chat, let's get started. Lay one jacket front on top of the jacket back, or I guess I should say trench coat. Keep right sides together if it matters, although with solid fabrics it doesn't usually matter. Sew across the shoulder and down the top of the sleeve. Clip this seam which is what you see me doing here. You'll notice I do real tiny clips at the top of the shoulder and then a little wider at the bottom. Press this rounded seam open as best you can. This will help it lay flat on the doll's shoulder. Do the same with the other jacket front. Okay, so you're going to keep right sides together, lay it up against the back, sew the top of the sleeve just like we did in the previous section. Clip and press just like we did before. And you could see me clipping this one just in case, you know, you need to see that again. There we go. Now your jacket will look like this. This is a good time to add some bias tape to the front. Okay, to add your bias tape, um, and I do have a whole tutorial about bias tape, you might want to look in the links below for that, but I just lay it flush with the side of the, the coat's front and then I fold it. So I'm folding both a little bit of the fabric of the coat and a little bit and the, the bias tape. I'm using a whip stitch to attach my bias tape, but you could use a sewing machine as well. With handmade bias tape, personally, I think it can help to pin it in place and then also to hand stitch it. If you need help with the whip stitch, I do have a tutorial for that in the description below. Attach bias tape up the front opening of the coat across the collar like you see here. And then down the other side of, of the coat's front. Okay, when you get to the end where you've already finished attaching bias tape to the front, you're gonna cut the bias tape flush with the coat's edge. Okay, just like you see me doing here, you want it to match up with the edge of the coat. Now your trench coat is going to look like this. Now if you want your trench coat to have pockets, and they are in the pattern, 
You're now at the stage where you'd want to add them, but I'm not going to include that in this video. So to add pockets, watch for my bathrobe tutorial. I'll add a link to that at the end of this video. And you'll just attach pockets like we do with the bathrobe. Now at the end of a sleeve, fold the fabric once and then a second time. We're creating a double fold hem. And I'm going to show you how I do that. So here's the end of my sleeve. Okay, I've got that seam flat. I fold once, fold the seam, I fold twice, again roll it up against the seam, and then you can start stitching. Whip stitch to hem the end of the sleeve. Follow these directions to hem both of your sleeves. Fold the sleeve in half so that the coat's fronts are up against the coat's back. And then stitch from the sleeve's hemmed edge around the underarm area and down the side seam of the trench coat. Do the same with the other side. Now your trench coat will look like this. Clip the underarm area. That's what you see me doing here. Just make a quick snip and then another quick snip. And now your trench coat looks like this. Press open the side seams. Hem the bottom by folding once and then a second time like you see me doing in this next video clip. Okay, so here's the bottom of my trench coat. I fold once, I fold again, and now I'm going to whip stitch all along the bottom of the trench coat. So pin and whip stitch the hem across the bottom of the coat. Keep your side seams open as you hem. And now your coat looks like this from the front. And it looks like this from the back. Invert the trench coat. And that's what I'm doing here. You might need a chopstick to poke out the sleeves. Go gently. I know it looks like I'm doing this fast, but I never do that fast. It's just that I've sped up the video so you don't have to sit there watching me <laughs> turn it inside out or right side out, I mean. All right, it kind of looks like a karate coat, um, but you know, it's gonna depend on your fabric as to what your final product looks like. You can add snaps and decorative buttons or create a bias tape belt, like the one that I gave to my bathrobe. Now I will put a link to the Easy Belt DIY tutorial video, both in the description below and at the very end of today's tutorial video for your convenience. But right now, it's time to try your coat on a doll. For more free printable PDF sewing patterns, for making doll clothes to fit dolls of many shapes, and all different sizes, please remember to visit my website, ShellyWood.com. What if there was an easy way to take a big doll pattern and resize it to fit a little doll, or vice versa? I'm Shelly Wood, the doll clothing designer, and in my pattern alteration class, I'm gonna share with you my resizing formula. But don't worry, you don't have to be really good at math to learn how to take a pattern you already own and make adjustments to that pattern so it will fit a different doll. And that's just one feature of pattern alterations. In my class, you'll also learn how to shorten and lengthen a pair of pants and how to turn a pair of pants into shorts 
or how to widen them at the waist and even how to lengthen the inseam for taller dolls. We'll also learn how to adjust a skirt, making skirts that are more full or less full for a totally different look, and I'll show you how to create a gusset for a dress bodice and how to design your own waistband for a skirt based on your doll's measurements. I'll walk you through the steps to several different pattern alterations, teaching you how to lengthen and shorten shirt sleeves, and how to make felt prototypes before you finalize your pattern. Regardless of the size or shape of the doll you enjoy sewing for, altering your patterns will help you turn your creative ideas for making original doll clothes into a variety of patterns for making shirts, pants, shorts, skirts, and dresses. I invite you to join me. We are going to have so much fun.